Hi, everyone. Welcome to LinkUp's webinar, Making the Job Search Easier, Recognizing and Avoiding Job Scams. My name is Molly Mosley, and I am Director of Product Management and Marketing here at LinkUp. And I've been with the company for over 10 years now and have really seen the industry evolve. And unfortunately, time and time again, I've seen how job seekers have become victims of job scams. So I'm really excited to be a part of today's webinar to really help you educate, to help educate you on really what a job scam is, what different types there are, and how to avoid it um, in your job search. And I'm also joined with Callie Erickson, who is one of our marketing and advertising interns. Thanks, Molly. Hi, everyone. I am so excited to be a part of this webinar today because as a part of my internship, I have spent a lot of time researching different types of job scams and how people can become more aware of them to protect themselves. The research I've done has allowed me to help design this webinar as well as write a white paper and design an infographic all about job scams. So just to kind of kick things off, I want to run through today's agenda. It's really pretty straightforward. We're going to go through and define what are job scams and also highlight who are the targets. Is it you? Is it me? Is it uneducated people? Is it educated people? Give you examples of what kinds of job scams are out there, how to recognize them. And then, of course, we want to give you tips to protect yourself against job scams. But before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about LinkUp, um, who we are and kind of why we're different, which will kind of help, help, help you understand why we're giving this presentation today. So LinkUp is the fastest growing job search in, engine on the web. And it's pretty simple. Our mission is to provide you, the job seeker, with the purest, most efficient, most relevant, and rewarding job search experience imaginable, whether it's online or on the go. Currently, we have over 1.5 million jobs from over 37,000 company websites. And we're really different than other job sites out there, so other job boards and aggregators. So why we're different is we drive you directly to employers' websites to apply to the job. So there's no middleman, there's no registration, you're not taken anywhere else, you're not, there's no junk. We're kind of eliminating all that extra job pollution. So every job on our site is going to send you directly to the employer site to apply. So a really interesting fact that Tally found out with her research. Did you know that 2.5 million Americans are victims of job scams each year? 2.5. And this number is constantly growing. So that's why it's really, really great for you to understand what they are and how to protect yourself. So really, what is a job scam? A job scam, also known as employment fraud, are really designed to take advantage of those seeking employment. They range from work at home to Ponzi schemes. So in a nutshell, job scams are intended to steal personal and financial information. So basically your identity and money. And the targets are generally people who are looking for a job. But the thing is you need to always keep in mind is it can happen to anyone. It doesn't matter how well educated you are. It doesn't matter if you've had jobs in the past. Really, there are so many different types of scams out there that it can happen to anyone. There are six main types of scams that, through Tally's research, that she's going to address with you right now. So now you know a little bit about job scams and who the targets are. Um, I can tell you that I thought I knew a lot about job scams before I began my research, but I was surprised to learn how much I still really didn't know. Through my research, I have noted that there are six main types of job scams, which I will detail further in a minute. These six main types of scams are phishing scams, reshipping scams, pyramid and Ponzi schemes, work from home scams, Nigerian check cashing scams, and lead generation sites. The first type of scam I want to talk about is the phishing scam. These scams aren't always easy to spot, and they can cause a lot of problems. You've probably heard someone mention the term identity theft. Well, phishing scams often lead to just that. These scams are designed to steal your confidential information, including financial information, such as bank info, credit card numbers, your social security number, and more. Let me show you an example. 
First, you see what appears to be a job posting. Then you decide you want to apply, and you're asked to upload your resume and provide your email address. After you've provided your email address, you start to receive spam emails. However, you might not even know that this is a spam email, which is the goal of these scammers. These emails will either direct you to a link embedded with a virus, or they will ask you to fill out some personal information. You think you're filling out the information necessary to get the job, but you are actually granting access to your confidential information. The next type of scam I want to discuss is the reshipping scam. Basically, scammers use you to send stolen property out of the country. They disguise it as a fast and easy way to make money. In reality, they are getting you to do their dirty work. You'll end up being the one charged with a criminal offense when it is discovered the item being shipped out of the country is stolen or illegal property. The third type of scam I want to talk about are the Pyramid and Ponzi schemes. You may have heard of these but have never really known what they're all about. Pyramid and Ponzi schemes are meant to seem like you're going to sell a real product to other people. However, the product doesn't really matter and sometimes it doesn't even exist. These schemes are all about how many people you can recruit and how many people your recruits recruit. It's a pyramid. You make your money by recruiting people and having your recruits recruit even more people. While it might seem like you can recruit a lot of people, it won't be that easy. And whoever recruited you into the scheme will get a portion of all the money you earn. You will most likely be on a low tier in the pyramid, meaning that there are many people above you that your money will go to. This will leave you with very little money after spending a lot of time recruiting others. The next type of scam to discuss are the work from home scams. Work from home scams play on the fact that they sound very appealing. However, not many jobs allow you to work from home, and even if they do, it typically isn't part of the job title or its description. Scammers try to draw you in and encourage you to send money for the materials you will need while you are working at home. These materials might include mailing lists, envelopes, and other types of startup kits. The materials never arrive though, your money is gone, and you don't have a job. The fifth type of scam to discuss is the Nigerian check cashing scam. It might be hard to believe that people still fall for these scams, but there are so many variations of the Nigerian check cashing scam that it isn't always easy to know that it's a scam. It seems like a money-making opportunity, but really, you are just granting scammers access to your money. These scams appear in a variety of forms. You might be asked to cash a fake check and wire that money abroad, or you might be asked to, for a loan that seems like you will be generously compensated for in the end. For example, you are asked to cash a check and wire the money overseas, but the check is fake. When your own bank realizes that you were the person who caused the bank to send money illegally overseas and the check bounced, you are the one responsible for paying all of it back. The final kind of scam I want to focus on is the lead generation site. Lead gen sites are the trickiest of the scams, in my opinion. I didn't even know they existed until I started interning here. These sites are bait. They seem like real job opportunities. The links even look like they go to a legitimate company, but there aren't any actual jobs involved. They get you to fill out your personal information, and then they sell it to a third party. You end up without a job, and now your personal info has been given to a source that you know nothing about. Let me show you how a lead gen site works. You want to apply for an RN position. You see what appears to be a link to an application for the position you want. You click the link. Then you're asked to enter your contact information, such as phone numbers, emails, etc., to apply to nearby locations. Once you fill out that info, the lead gen site has your information and you don't have a job you'll end up being contacted by all kinds of third parties. And I'm just going to chime in here. This is a scam that is really kind of taking over the Internet right now. A lot of name brand job sites or well-recognized brands, um, they have lead gen sites on there. If you look on the right-hand side, 
you might not realize it now, but if you go after this webinar and click around, you're going to see that these sites have lead gen sites. And I kept hearing about it over and over again with a bunch of job seekers that we work with. And so I decided to check it out myself, really go through the process to see what's going on. So I clicked on a job. I thought it was a real job. I was sent to another site, kind of like our screenshot here right now, fill out some information. And then it was asking me some interesting questions of what, you know, are you a homeowner? Are you, do you drive a car? All these personal questions. So you go through an answer and within a minute, and because I put my phone number in there and email, literally within one minute, I was receiving text messages and emails from other vendors who had gotten my personal information. So I checked, yes, I own a home. So within that minute, I was receiving text messages from a mortgage companies saying they could lower my interest rate. Same for car insurance. It was absolutely crazy. And I, my phone was blowing up. I had a ton of emails in my inbox. And really, these sites are just selling my personal information. And I'm a lead to these people. And what's really frustrating is I didn't know that this was going on. So job seekers, they don't know this is going on. You think you're just applying for a job. But really, your information is being sold, and you never really applied to the job. And what's crazy is it's not illegal. It's not illegal for these large job boards to make money off of you. And in our opinion here at LinkUp, we feel like that is morally wrong, and we would never, ever have that kind of stuff on our site. We only want to provide you with the best jobs on the Internet and simply connect you directly to the employer to apply to the job. So now that Tally kind of went through the types, she's now going to go through kind of the red flags and tell you what the signs are. It's an actual scam. Thanks, Molly. So now on to how you can tell if you're looking at a scam. As I said earlier, there are scams that are all about using the appealing idea of working from home to get your attention. This is not a benefit of all jobs, and it really isn't advertised as part of the job. Realistically, you cannot make a lot of money working from your house. The next sign to look out for is what kind of personal information is required before you can apply. One of the easiest ways to determine that the post you're looking at is based on that information. You should never be asked to provide any confidential information before applying to a job. This includes your social security number, photographs, and more. This info is all confidential. As Molly mentioned as part of her experience with the lead gen sites earlier, you might see questions asking you if you own a mortgage or have a car payment. These questions are completely unnecessary. It's probably not a job and your information is going to be sold to a third party. The next sign to watch for is if you are re required to provide payment to start your job. Real jobs do not require you to, to pay to start making your own money. The next sign is to watch out for if you're offered a job without submitting a resume, filling out an application, or partaking in an interview. You might think, wow, this is perfect. I finally have a job. But it's highly unlikely that this is a real job. Would you hire someone you knew absolutely nothing about? The final thing to look for is if the job posting promises amazing things such as mansions, long vacations, and high compensation. If you find yourself thinking that this is just too good to be true, you are probably right. So now you know what job scams are, who the targets are, what the types are, and what the signs are. But now what? Here are some basic tips for protecting yourself from being scammed. First, you should really do some research. Try finding out if there is a company website and check to see if the job that you're applying for is on their website. If you can't find their website or the job posting isn't listed, use a search engine to determine if the job in question could be a scam. You can try typing the company or the job title followed by the word scam to see if it is a scam. You should also pay attention to the details of the job post, especially the small ones. Check if the, if the email address and website domain match up with the company's name. If the email seems like it could be a personal one, request more information before you provide any of your own information. Definitely be careful if there isn't a phone number or a street address listed. You should also provide as little personal info as you can. 
That way, your information will not be sold to a third party, and you'll avoid identity theft. It's important to protect your computer, too, by installing antivirus software to avoid viruses that will try to steal your identity. Also, make sure to back up your computer and save important documents so if your computer does get a virus, you haven't lost everything. Never provide your password to important accounts over the internet. And finally, always trust your instincts. If something seems weird, do a little more research. If that doesn't provide you with the answers you want, don't apply. It's better to be safe than sorry. So here's the deal. We kind of went through a lot of information of providing you details on what a scam is, what the types are, what to look for, but this slide right here is probably the most important for you to take away. There's a ton of stuff out there that's not great, and simply you just want to find a job. So when you're looking for jobs, think of these five tips and think about it while you're conducting your job search. Do your research. Go to the company's website. Make sure they're legit. Do they have a careers page? Do they have information about their company culture? If the answer is yes, it's a good job. Apply for it. And pay attention to those details, like Tally said. The small ones really count. And anything that kind of shows you a red flag or you don't feel good about, don't apply to that job. It's most likely a scam. Just be really smart about it and trust your instincts. And recently, we've kind of come up with this new tagline for a link up of search with your eyes wide open. And that means really just be aware of what's going on. Go and find really great job listings and connect directly to the employer site to apply. You shouldn't have to enter in personal information. You shouldn't have to go through a middleman to find the job. You simply need just to go straight to the employer's website to apply. And again, that's really what LinkUp does. So we don't have any job board listings, staffing listings, no duplicates because we're not pulling in all the other junk from like Monster, Career Builder, and most importantly, what today's webinar was all about, you will never find any kind of lead gen site or scam on linkup.com. Every job listing is going to connect you straight to the employer's website to apply, guaranteed. So you're never gonna have to worry about coming across any of these scams. And really, we just wanna help you connect with employers to find that job. So again, just search with your eyes open. Be smart about it, be aware what's going on, and it's going to help you with your job search. You can find us on linkup.com and check out all the different job listings that we have, or feel free to follow up with myself or Tally. Um, you can reach me at molly at linkup.com or Tally at terickson at linkup.com. And any questions you have about the webinar or just job searching in gen general, we would be happy to help you out. Or get in touch with us on one of our social media channels. We really are making a huge effort right now to better communicate with our job seekers, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, our blog. Um, check it out. We're always posting helpful information that will really help you with your job search. So thank you so much for joining today's webinar, and best of luck to you in your job search.